Okay, so when we're doing ray tracing, one of the first things we need to do is determine if our ray intersects with a plane. Okay, and in order to do that, we need some sort of equation that'll take our parameters for our ray. So our parameters for our ray is the origin O, the direction vector D, and the parameters for our plane would be P prime and N. And given all these parameters, we want to determine at what time T our ray intersects with our plane. So how do we do that? Well, let's take P equal to RT. This means that if we plug it into our plane equation, we will get our ray intersection equation. So let's just solve for t. Guess we get some nice music for <laughs> our algebra. Okay, negative d t n. And then that will give us O minus P prime and over negative T N equals, sorry, this is a D. Okay, and this is our intersection test. Next question, what does it mean if we get a value of T minus zero? So let's take our ray equation. This is our ray equation. And let's think about what t means. So if t is 0, then our point is just the origin. Okay? And if t is greater than 1, then we're at some point that's along this direction d. Right? Because we're just multiplying them. A positive value by d and adding it to our origin. And if t is less than 1, that means it's in the opposite direction here. So that means that if we get some value in our intersection test that's less than 0, then our ray only intersects with our object in, in the backwards direction. So say maybe this is your camera you're shooting rays out this way, your actual like plane is back here, which means it's not in view. Okay, so what does it mean if d dot n equals zero? Okay, so if we think about what a dot, dot product of two vectors means, if d dot n equals zero, this must mean that they're perpendicular. I apologize if I spelled that wrong. Um, okay, so if we know that these two vectors are perpendicular, let's think back to what our plane actually is. If we're plane here and we have a normal vector, which is perpendicular to our plane. So that must mean that D is either actually just on our plane, which would mean that our ray intersects with our plane infinitely many times, like it just goes along the plane infinitely, or it's maybe like lower in space, in which case it will never intersect with our plane. 